Hi guys, it's me. I haven't vlogged anything all day. It's 4 o'clock. I spent today listening to my audiobook, doing laundry, and getting caught up on CTFXC. And I got a coupon for Payless from when I bought my shoes. And they asked me if I wanted to sign up for the emails for coupons and stuff. And I got a coupon. And there's a bag I want to buy. So I'm going to see if Brandon will take me and get it for me. Because I've been looking for a crossbody bag a nice size. Um, for everything that I for everything that I carry. Hopefully it's the size that I want. I think we're going to go out to lunch and then go to the store to get some ingredients to make something that Brandon wants to make. I'm not gonna tell you what it is because it's a surprise. You'll just have to wait until tomorrow's vlog to find out what it is. And that's what I'm up to. And I've got a pumpkinator. You knocking my clothes over, Punky? Hi! Hi! All my clothes just came out of the dryer and they're so warm. I was cleaning my room and I found clothes in my room and I washed them and I got stuff stuff that was like my nieces that I'm going to give to Brandon's niece and stuff like that, so. Clothes! I have to fold all these and I guess I'm going to, um, I think I'm caught up on CGFXC. So I think I'm going to hook up my audiobook and keep listening to that while I fold clothes. I don't think I have anything on the DVR to watch. I got you. I caught you being cute. You've been sitting here with mama all day. I've got up to do stuff. And you've just stayed there. Moved around a bit on the couch, but you've just stayed there and been so good and so proud of you. Yeah. Hey guys, that's me again. I haven't really done a lot today. I am caught up on CTFXC from whatever my day one was. I think it was like, I think four, 478 was my first day when, uh, I guess, I think it's Allie goes back to school or something for her last year of college. That was, that's, we've been watching for a while. We've been watching for like 500 days. I've been watching for over five, 500 days then I guess. Damn. I just realized how long it's been. Been watching them. Um, Brandon's been watching for longer than that. But I still have not watched all the old vlogs. A long time ago, I watched like the first two months, but I think I'm gonna go back and watch them all over again. But I haven't yet. And, um, I watched a few Shay Tars vlogs. I watched the one from the wedding and the, the short one from the day before that. I don't know if that was actually a whole vlog or not, but it was really funny. And I watched another one, I think the most recent one. And Shay looks fantastic. He's lost so much weight and he looks so fit and healthy and he goes running and everything now. And I used to watch them a lot, like a long time ago, before I got hooked on CTFXC. And um, 
I, I watch them a little bit. But, it's like, I seen him on the wedding video. So I knew he'd lost weight, but he just I guess I just didn't realize just how much. He looks so good. Just so healthy and so happy and he's six I almost started crying watching the vlog because seeing him get he said he gets emotional when he goes running on the beach. And I don't know, just something I almost I almost started like tearing up because it made me think, well, if he can do it, anybody can do it, right? It's like, why can't I get off my butt and get motivated and lose weight and get some exercise? I always, like, make excuses, and, and some of them are valid excuses. Like, I don't live in the safest um, neighborhood, and I don't like to walk by myself, but I also like quiet when I walk, so I think that I... If I uh, could have someone walk with me but not talk to me, <laughs> just like for safety purposes, and I could go like um, walk on a track or something and listen to my audiobooks, wow. then I'd be fine. I heard that one. But it's it's getting so cold now. It's so hard. It's hard to um, do that exercise. I lost a little bit of weight, but I like hit a spot where. I'm starting to yo-yo a bit again, like, like one or two pounds, either either direction, which isn't bad, but I want to keep losing weight, and it's, it's discouraging, and it's hard, because I don't have anyone doing it with me, and I don't have, like, a support system, and I really want to join Weight, weight Watchers or something, but I can't afford that like monthly commitment and I've said before if I went to the meetings I feel like they judge me um, because I know a lot of people get into Weight Watchers and they're a lot heavier than I am and they'd look at me like who you you don't need to lose weight you're skinny compared to us but because I think for a lot of people they have to hit like over 200 or over 210 or 215 or there's some number in their head where they if they hit that number they go whoa how did I let it get this bad with me that would be 200 or even 190 I don't want to hit that and one reason why I want to lose weight is because I want to have kids someday and I want to be I want to weigh less when I'm pregnant than I did in high school than I weighed in high school if I could weigh less when nine months pregnant than I did when I went to my senior prom I feel like I really accomplished something so that's one reason why I want to lose weight and get at, and get thin and get healthy and get fit because I feel like someday when I do have kids I'll have a health, healthier foundation. You know what I mean? It's like I'd rather be healthy and pregnant than fat and pregnant. Like, I've struggled for years and years with, like, the same, the same weight, the same freaking 20 pounds, and I feel like if I can get down below again, below 160, and stay there. I would be so happy. I just have to get down there again. Like the lowest I've been since high school was 158, and that was when I went down south and visited family. And then I came home to my. I came back home and was 
with my then boyfriend again and piled all the weight back on because it's just like you have some like false sense of security when you're in a relationship but it's okay to be comfortable and to not keep losing weight and that relationship didn't last and I gained it all back but I also had just went vegan I lost weight really fast I lost like 12 pounds a month I feel like if I could get active, I would lose weight. But I'm not going to give up food. I love to eat. And I want to be able to eat the foods I love in moderation. And I shouldn't have to give up that much. I mean, there's already so many things that are unhealthy that I don't eat because I'm vegan. So I should be able to enjoy vegan foods I love and not have to worry about it. And if I was more active, I could do that more. I feel like I have a sluggish metabolism or something because I'm not active enough. But you see me when I am energetic and when I'm out and about with Brandon, like how excited and, and um, how much energy I can have. It's just a, I don't know, a lack of resources. We had a treadmill, but it broke. And now I don't have anything to exercise on. What do you guys do? Like, how do you exercise and how do you stay active? Especially if you live in like New England when it's in the winter time and it's cold. Um, what do you do for exercise? How do you stay active? I can't do anything really labor intensive like shoveling snow <laughs> because of my shoulder. I can't handle that. I will be literally in tears. But um, let me know how do you stay active. I it's it's still somewhat early. It's I don't even know if it's nine o'clock yet. But I'm going to read and listen to my audiobook and play on my Kindle Fire. And I might film a little bit more before I go to bed. But I'm, I'm still reading a uh, absolutely true diary of a part-time Indian. And I started Zombie Corns by John Green. It's the novella he wrote for NaNoWriMo, National Novel Writing Month. And I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, finishing that. I think I might be able to finish both tonight. And um, if I do that, then I will probably play around in my fire some more. Anyway, I'm going to say goodnight for now. Hi. Hi. This is Muffin. She's my niece's cat. I'm in her room right now. <laughs> she's being incredibly adorable, but she's not used to me, so a little skittish. Hi. Hi. Good girl. Good girl. Hey, what's up you guys? Um, how was your day? Mine sucked. Oh, it was a bad day. First, like, I slept in. Not like, really late, but I didn't have as much time before I left for work. And then I forgot my phone at home. So I, did, I came back home on my lunch to get it. That's, uh, yeah. Then, uh, so then I went back to work and I did my thing. And then, uh, 
like uh, Packers lost today. Which sucks. But, nah, I really thought they could do it this year. Oh well, next year. Um, and now my car is not working. Well, I mean, it's working, but dumbest thing, the um, blower motor, it's not turning on. So like, I was sitting in my car after work, my coworker who I was gonna give a ride home, and it's just not coming on, not coming on. So finally, I had to call my dad to pick me up, or pick both of us up. And if I have to leave my car at work, my car's still at work right now. Which I'm not too thrilled about. Because I couldn't get the window to def uh, the windshield to defrost. So I go back in the morning and get it. It's just annoying. I have to borrow my brother's car tomorrow. Because like, I'm going to bring it back here and then my dad's going to work on it. When he gets home from work, try to figure out what's going on with it. That's annoying. Not having my car. Um, and so yeah, that was my day. I'm almost done with the Fault in Our Stars. I got like, I don't know, 40 pages left. I don't think I'm gonna finish it tonight though, like I planned. Uh, like I planned, maybe tomorrow. So, I guess um, that's it. And I'll see you tomorrow.